Hello, brothers and sisters in Heart Duo's family. I want to share with you an update about little Peter from Zambia. I shared a story with you guys in vlog number two, Musalia Community. He had a terrible skin disease that had never been treated. Peter, is it okay? I just want to put you on camera so we can have people pray for you. Uh, do you understand English? No. no. You knew a little bit? You understand English? No, no. Okay, okay. so let me... Okay, guys, so this is Peter's hands. I'm just asking for prayer and also want to get him some medication. I'm thinking it's eczema because I had this too, but it wasn't this bad. And it's also on his feet. So we want to get him some uh, medication and some help. Yeah, and just also know that he's so loved by the Lord. Oh. I petition you all to pray for him and encourage donations for his medication. A heart dollars couple responded and sent in a donation so he could be taken to the clinic and receive medical treatment. He did, and the medication completely restored his skin and health. Here are the before and after photos. What I didn't realize is this skin condition and various skin conditions like this are very common in Zambia. Pastor Chama and Pastor Brian then brought three more different cases. Two sisters who had what it looked to be chicken pox, but they were much larger and caused open sores. Hi, mother. Uh, this is blessing. So she's, in, she's one of the, the, the children we've been taking care of here in Misaila. As you can see, she has a, a similar problem with, uh, with Peter. We have tried uh, so, many, so many medications, but um, we have not yet found in the little medication that can cure this problem. So we are we still we are we still in need of much so that we can take them to the hospital. She, and she's not she's not she's not alone. She's with her a younger sister, and it's a it's a worse problem to her younger sister. She can't even stand and walk. As you can see, she's even crying. The, um, this chicken pox is all over the body. It's all over, all over the body. This morning they went to clinic and they were told to go and buy medications because at the clinic they don't have the, the type of medication they can use to cure this uh, this pro this uh, this this disease. We didn't, we don't know what is happening here in Zambia with the, with the, this problem. So please, mother, you can just you can you can just include them on the budget you want to send you for Peter. So that we, right, uh, so that we can we can buy medication for them as well. Thank you. Another young man had something that looked just like monkeypox. So like this, uh, he has it all the body, but we, we desire just to, to capture the, the hands. As you can see, the situation is very, very, very bad. He needs urgent attention. So as you can see, there's an urgent uh, attention that is needed. Let me see this part. What Pastor Chama and Pastor Brown found out was the cost of the medication for Peter was in total $232 and was enough to not only help Peter, but the two sisters who use the same medication. And they were healed. Here is their after picture. The third young man's skin was restored as well, and he's still in the process of taking the medication because it was very recent. 
Pastor Chama mentioned that this is due to lack of hygiene and showers that the skin condition occurs. Many children in this area don't have access to water and aren't able to take showers regularly. And once the skin condition occurs, it is so difficult and so expensive to get the children to a clinic. In Zambia, the currency is called kwacha, and many live far below the poverty level. In the village, the average income per week is two kwacha, which is equivalent to 12 cents in U.S. dollars. That is how difficult the struggle for families are over there. To work for 12 cents a week is unheard of here in the U.S. No one can survive on that. So now you see how long it would take a mother or father to afford 232 U.S. dollars to purchase medication for their children. As an adult, they would have to work 1,933 weeks just to afford the medication. Isn't that crazy? I'm sharing all of this with you because I'm asking you to come alongside Children's Hope Community Center Mission and help us raise funds to purchase the medication these children need in bulk from the pharmacy so that we can help more children. The medication is benzoyl benzoate, which can be found in calamine lotion and other skin medication products we get here easily in the United States for $10 or less. However, the clinic has given the children five different benzoyl benzoate medications that they have to take as a process to be cured from this. When Pastor Chama asked the clinic about us buying the medication in bulk from them, they rather encouraged him not to give this to every child, but to bring them to the clinic facility, and the Ministry of Health would attend to them and treat them right away. However, all five children we have used this on have been completely healed by this medication, and we feel the clinic and Ministry of Health just want to make money instead. The Lord told me to put this up on the channel, because one batch of medication costing 200 and $32 can help three children receive healing from the skin infection. So family, we would like to raise as much funds as we can so we can buy as much of this medication as we can. We're asking for you to consider bringing relief to at least three children by committing to one-time donation or monthly donation of just $232 to bring relief to the children suffering. You can send your donations to PayPal and note it to be allocated for children's medication, or you can donate to the Children's Hope Community Center GoFundMe account. We're working on the website and God willing intend to launch it this month. Please keep Pastor Chama in your prayers. He's taken a sabbatical to focus on his family, and Pastor Brian will be leading Children's Hope in Pastor Chama's absence. I would like to end this video by introducing him to you guys, so you can be praying for him and his wife to run this ministry accordingly. Here is Pastor Brian singing a beautiful song of praise to God. Jesus, you are willing to be praised. Yahweh, Yahweh. I am. 